Hey everybody, how's everybody doing? Sorry I did not post or announce that I was gonna come live. But I have three stacked pumpkins I've got to finish, finished, finish, so I decided why not. So I'm going to paint them while I'm on here with y'all until I have to go take Eli to ball practice. That's what we painted today in my inside scoop. Hey Miss Betty. This was super fun to paint today. I really enjoy painting that with them. Let me hang it up here. Oh, Lordy. So I have, well, it ain't wanna hang. I have three stacked pumpkins that I have been working on and I have not finished yet and I've got to finish them. Before the lady messaged me, and tells me that she's gonna come and beat my honey if I don't get them out. Hey, Miss Kathy. So, that is what, so she can't beat your tail. This is the stack pump because I'm gonna be finishing. I've just got to paint the top of it. I'll probably paint the tops, but I probably won't get to the leaves today. Not live. Hello, got you this time. Yay, Miss Betty. And let me grab my other one because I have another one I got to do. Oh, it's a hot mess in here, y'all. Hey, everybody. And I want to say if you take the time and sprinkle the love on my page, that I'll put you in a drawing to win one of these free blank stack pumpkins. Hey, Aunt Pat. And I still haven't done finished my candy apples. It's just been so I have not even did a winner for that yet. So don't think I forgot about it. I haven't forgot about it. I just got to get got to get them finished. So much going on, y'all. You hear Eli back there? Yep, I hear Eli. So where is my? I got to figure out what paint I used. Hey, everybody. All right, let me get my paint straight. I'm trying to figure out, remember, what color I used, because it's gonna be this green color up here on the top. Thank you so much for spreading the love, Miss Carol. All right, let me see. This is the color that I used right here. So, I used some spring green. And I don't think I used that. Let me see some spring green. What is the colors I used? I think some palm leaf. I know I didn't use that marsh green. How about, I'm gonna try these colors and we'll see how they work out. I'm gonna try them. I'm just gonna scooch y'all down just a little bit so y'all can see. All right. So how's everybody doing today? Seems like it's been kind of a long day today. So what I'm gonna start off with is just, I'm going to squirt out my greens on my plate. Thank you, Miss Betty. Hey, Tanya. Thank you, Natalie. And is it, I can't see the name. I think that's my other color, and I think my other color may be palm leaf. Mm -hmm. Y'all, I'm gonna show y'all how I do some shading. Oh, no, that is not that color. Ooh. It's a little bit darker green that I've used. Let's try the Hauser medium. No, the Hauser light. Now, that don't seem right. Let's try the medium. I think it's the medium. Let's try the medium. I don't know if that's it either, but we're gonna go with it. All right, let me find me a brush. I'm gonna use a three quarter inch angle brush. And y'all, I have been practicing doing some shading and kind of new to it because I usually do a lot of the, the whimsy kind of door hangers. And I have fell in love with trying to do the shading and blending just to make things a little bit more realistic. 
So I'm kind of a beginner when it comes to shading and painting. I meant shading and painting. Shading and building <laughs> Not a beginner with painting. But, um, so I've been trying to figure out the simplest ways that I can do it and then probably just kind of get better as I go with this. So I have figured out that with pumpkins, and I was telling my insiders this today in my inside scoop, is that it is so much easier to do pumpkins if you leave that center um, little section on a pumpkin to be the last section that you actually paint. So that's what I'm going to do. And what I'm gonna do is, while I was painting this one, I have figured out that if I go ahead and paint one section, get it done, and then do some blending with a darker color, I can do that way on faster. The lighting on my camera is, is completely crazy. It keeps on going like orange looking and it's, it's, it's crazy. Hey, Miss Frances and Missy. It's crazy. crazy. All right, so I'm gonna start with the spring green. Or what color was that? I'm so lost with these colors, y'all. All right, so I'm just gonna comb. I'm gonna go ahead and get my edges, so I do not forget my edges. Because you can't have a, a door hanger without your edges being done. Like your hair edges, or your actual edges. <laughs> yeah, so y'all be sure to sprinkle the love sprinkle. to get a chance to win a blank stack pumpkin wooden door hanger shipped right to you. All right, so I went here, I just got my edges, so I don't have to worry about them. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna come with this section and I'm going to start getting it. Hello. Yeah, I kind of got y'all kind of far off, so I can't hardly see um, the comments too good. So if I... I promise you I'm not going to be ignoring you. Alright, so as you can see, I've got my green painted on here. Mom, I forgot to, at school, at after school, somebody came in Miss Tracy's room and stole my crayon box. Oh, uh, well that, what do you mean your crayon box? My whole entire box. Of his crayon. It's gone. Well then I have to get in touch with your teacher and see. Because I can't find it. Okay. Natalie says, hey kiddos. Hey. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is, I was like double loading this and it makes it a lot easier if you kind of, if you're used to double loading. And I'm just gonna take a darker green, kind of get on my edges and around the bottom. And I'm doing this before that first coat gets dried. I've got to stand up because I'm not able to see exactly what I'm doing. All right, so now I'm going to take that lighter color and I'm going to go in the middle, in the center, and just kind of blend it. Do y'all see how that's blending really, really pretty? Kind of darker on the edges and it gets lighter. So now I'm going to go to my next section. And I did use like the antique white. I think I'm going to use the vanilla. Eli, I need you to stop, okay? Or either go in the living room and you can, or in your bedroom, and you can act crazy all you want. My eye, that's what I want to get, my eye. Hey, Gina. Hey, Natalie. So I'm gonna get a little bit of ivy just to do a little bit of highlighting on the inside of my centers, or my sections, I mean. Sitting down on my hair. All right, and I'm going to be using the same paintbrush without rinsing anything out. Okay, so let's start off with the other, the same green, and we're gonna come, we're gonna make this section. Oh, what's this word? Just to, I've got to stand up because I cannot see. Can you read this? Baby, I'm doing a live right now. 
I just need you to leave this one to the two. Um, how, how are you? Now, when you're doing shading and blending, it does take a lot more time to um, the paint than it would if you wasn't adding all the shading and blending to it. What? I'm going to add just a little bit more. Mom, I'm going to make these pencils cute. Darker green. Now you can make the pencil cute on it. Mm -hmm. I'm going to add the lighter green in the center. What you can do is just take your eraser out and then put hot glue where the eraser is and then stick a pom pom on the top and like a Halloween, Halloween pencil. And then a little bit of the ivy. And I do want the ivy to kind of, I don't want to like really blend the ivy in completely in each like the whole thing. I want the ivy to kind of pop out a little bit. I have four kids, 19, 9, and twin seven year olds. Oh wow, you got twins too? Twins. That is awesome. Who is that? You love your pumpkins, Gina? They, they, you, well, I don't, did you share me your pumpkins? I know you shared the witch. Your stack, I meant crashy witch was super cute. What kind of brush are you using? This is a royal and lane, lane nickel or something like that is a three quarter inch. They come from Hobby Lobby. What baby? A distant portion of writing. Alright, so now we're going Hey, hey, if y'all want to talk, y'all go um in the living room or somewhere else. You got practice today, so I've got to get this done before we have to leave to take you to practice. Mm -hmm. Yes, you. All right, so now we're gonna come. Make ball travel. Make ball travel, Mom. Baby, you know what you got. Make hey. ball ain't even trying to break ball yet. Yeah, you're not even playing break ball right now. So I do. I had to move my um, move my door hanger around all kind of ways to get it painted. That's what I mean with paint. Whenever I'm cooling, I have to move the paper around and get certain spots. Now we're going to get the middle part. Kind of blend that in a little bit. We have to come and add a little bit more mm -hmm. darker color on the edges. I will do that when it kind of dries a little bit. And then I can actually just use some water to blend it in. Alright, so now we're going to start on this one. Sometimes I wonder about what Miss Connie puts on here. Get hush. If you got to get your homework, you need to go in there somewhere quiet so you can get it. All right, so moving on to this section. Do you see how doing each section makes it way on easier? Or I think it does anyway. I need some more. Let me find. I gotta get some more green paint. Love those colors. Thank you, Anne. Not sure I think I did paint another witch now. <laughs> did you? Getting some more of that green. Sorry, y'all. I know I can't talk. I can't talk too much when I'm trying to get the shader just right. Kind of takes a little bit of concentration. All right, so we're gonna move on 
to the centerpiece now. <clears throat> oh, thank you, Miss Penny. So you see how that's looking so far? Hey, everybody. All right, so we're gonna come, we're gonna get the centerpiece now. Hey, y'all too, if you cannot get along and you're gonna be fussing and stuff, y'all need to go somewhere else. He's smacking. Look, he's like saying nothing about that eagle every time. They're in one of their moods today, y'all. They wanna be in here, but they don't wanna be good. Okay, well, how about go put it in the trash for me? And now we're just adding this darker color around the edge here. And now we're going to start blending in again. Get some lighter color and blend it in. And even a little bit of the the ivy going on here. Just like that. So there's that one. Thank you, Miss Kathy. Thank you, Natalie. I missed what kind of brush and brand. Kind of, it says it's a Royal and Lane, Lane Nickel. I got it from Hobby Lobby. It's a three quarter inch angle brush. All right. So I am thinking those are looking pretty similar. Once this is dry, that green will get a little bit darker. So I think those were the colors that I used. So while this is drying, we're gonna get the next one. Thank you, Barbara. You're welcome, Connie. So let me move all this paint to the side. My teacher was Connie. No, baby. And let's start on this one. So who thinks that shading this way seems to be pretty easy? But it really is. It's really, really easy. Go ahead and get my edges. Eli, if you're eating, go somewhere else now. Alright. Yeah, I know I'm a little quiet. I'm so sorry. Okay, so let's start with our first section. Like I said, I have to sit here and like take my my door hanger and just move it all kind of ways. Thank you, Carol. What type of wood do you use? And thanks. Julie, this is actually called Luon. It's kind of like a it's kind of like the Revolution plow. Plywood. It um we, it's just called Luan at the lumber place where I get it from. But it's a, it's a type of underlayment. I have been, I was, I normally use like birch. But I've seen this. And it's new that they try it. So I guess they've come, they've using a new um, supplier. So it's a lot better than it used to be because when I first started, this stuff was terrible. I mean, it was awful. And um, he showed it to me and I was like, oh wow. It was just as light as my birch wood. It is very light. It's only a quarter inch thick. So it's, you know, it's kind of thin. 
So after I tried it, I was like, oh my goodness. Because I told myself, okay, I said, well, I'll get two sheets and try it. And then, because it looked good, but I was like, I got to see how much it, how well it cuts. And it actually cuts pretty good. It cuts really smooth. So, I, um, it's probably what I'm going to be using for now on. Because, like I said, it's, it's a lot cheaper than birch wood. And who made this? Oh dear. How? How you made that um, Bible school, baby. And it really did. It cut really smooth. So I am going to be using it more often now, as long as they get from the same supplier and they don't switch up on me again. Lowe's do carry it, Julie, but please go put that in there. That, that's the recipe. I need you to go put it in there. But um, they carry like the Revolution plow or plywood, and it's not it's not as light colored as this one. See how light this color is? It has like a reddish tone, and it's got um. You can like feel the grains of it. So I don't, I don't really like it. But you can totally try it because your Lowe's may carry something different than mine does. This is Luan. And like I said, a lot of places cause their underlayment, um, the revolution plywood. But I got this from our local um, lumber yard. And it's different than what our Lowe's carry. Where am I from? I love your accent. Christina, is it Christina? I am from South Carolina. But yeah, Julie, try it. And like I said, but like I said, you know, Arlo's carries the the um Revolution plywood, and you know, it's just different than the Luan that I have here. our middle section. Can I do that? No, not right now. Mm. 
All right, we're gonna fill it in and then smooth out that, all the dark colors around the edge. I've got to make that one come out just a little bit more to kind of match that side over there. All right, now we're gonna add some of that ivy. All right, there's that one. Late, but I'm blessed, but I blessed your page. Thank you so much, Lynn. Is it Lynn? I use your diamond shape on my pumpkin and it looks amazing. I mean, awesome. Oh, that's that's um so good, Julie. I'm glad that um you were able to do it. That is, I love that design. I really do, it was so fun. All right, so while this one's drying, You know what, I'm thinking, I need to put a tiny bit of brown, kind of, tiny bit of brown because I do have brown here and here. So I am going to add just a little touch of brown to these, these pumpkins. Just like that, just a tiny, tiny bit, not much at all. Y'all see that? Thank you, Miss Marie. All right, let me add some to this one as well. I didn't even add it to my other one. Did you? I'm like, I'm like, I'm not putting a lot on here, y'all, at all. In fact, I need to add a little bit to the bottle on this one. I can't remember who was. I think it might have been Lisa that wanted to see me paint these. Thank you, Miss Betty. I might have already said that. Thank you, Nan. All right, so um, I'm trying to find my picture that I have on here. Let me find my picture that I've got of my stack pumpkin. Because I need to. Sorry, y'all give me a minute. I don't know where my picture is at. Because I cannot remember how I put my leaves on here. All right, so that's gonna. This is gonna be just a quick little while, cause like I said, I can't remember. I can paint the um the stem real quick with y'all, but um I can't remember where I placed my leaves at. I've actually got a video on me painting my leaves. If y'all want to check that out, it is um somewhere on my page. You would have to kind of just go through it and kind of um see where it, where it's at. All right, let's get that edge. So just a simple little brown stem. What do you use for the circles on the bottom? I, I use the pouncer, a round pouncer. It's probably about a two inch round pouncer. You make it look so easy, but we, we all take skills. Thank you, Miss Shelly. Yeah, well, this is, I'm all learning this. So, um, this is actually the easiest way for me to do shading and blending while I'm, you know, trying to learn and teach myself and watch other people paint and 
YouTube, y'all will find a lot of stuff on YouTube when it comes to shading and blending. So I have been like almost binge watching shading and blending videos and stuff on tutorials. I mean on YouTube. Granted, it's not all, they're not like door hangers, but you can still watch it and apply it, like the techniques and stuff to the door hangers. So there's that one. That is awesome looking. Thank you, Julie. All right. I don't know where my picture went. Zoe. Baby, have you seen my picture of this fat pumpkin? Because I printed a picture out when I was painting this, and now... I don't know where it, I can, don't see it anywhere in here. <laughs> Alright. So there's that stem. You're doing amazing. It is the liner brush I cannot do. What do you mean the liner brush, Shelly? Okay. So yeah, I would definitely have to do my leads another day. Well, today. I've got to finish these so I can spray them and get them shipped out tomorrow. But I may wind up having to print another picture because I do not see I don't see my picture. Alright, so I, this was kind of a short live. Um, short, short live. Look at there what's on the bottom of my thing. Look at that. Slime. Zoe. Baby, I've got slime on the back of my door hanger. Is this what you, is this what you do over here? She don't hear. I don't even think she's hearing me. So, does anybody have any questions? And I also wanted to come on here and share with y'all that I'm going to be doing a uh, little craft one day this week. I'm going to be making these pumpkins into like a tear pumpkin. Um, so I'm going to be making it kind of like this. And of course, these are kind of, I do not like the way they look at all. So I'm going to be painting these and fixing them up and doing this little quick craft with y'all one day this week. So be sure to be watching for that and we're gonna um i don't know if i want to do fall or halloween so we'll see i got a different one i'm gonna do for halloween so that one may be fall so y'all be sure to watch out for when i um say i'm gonna or post the thin brush that you outline designs with details oh shelly yeah a lot of people are intimidated about those but really if you just kind of do it quickly, um, I think a lot of people messes up when they like try to take their time to do it and do it slow. But that is something that you have to kind of just go and do it and just do it fast. Use them for both. Well, when I do Halloween, I'm gonna be like, um, like adding glue and spiders to it and spider webs and that kind of stuff. So. <laughs> I would probably have to tear it apart to actually try to um, use it as fall. All right, so ladies, I'm sorry. And like I said, y'all sprinkle the love for your chance to receive one of these for free. Not a painted one, but it'll be a blank one for you to paint yourself. No. Use them for both. I don't even read it. Zoe, did you see? I've got slime on the back of my door. Hand. Move. Move. Okay. So I'm going to hop off of here and I will see y'all again one day this week. I might come back tomorrow to do, thank y'all so much, to do the, um, the stack pumpkins. But I just have to wait and see how the day goes. Good idea, Julie. Thank you, Anna, for sprinkling the love. I appreciate it. All right, so ladies, I will catch y'all later on. Thanks. <laughs>